The Quran Lee app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. Palestinian supermodel Gigi Hadid announced on Sunday that she would be donating her Paris Fashion Week earnings to Ukraine and Palestine. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Here's what Gigi Hadid said on her Instagram page. I am pledging to donate my earnings from the fall 2022 shows to aid those suffering from the war in Ukraine as well as continuing to support those experiencing the same in Palestine. Clearly she's worded her post very diplomatically, it's worded well. Amazing right? A supermodel who also cares about the oppressed as well as the shades of lipstick that she can put on. Supporting two causes at the same time, buy one get one free. Raising awareness for a forgotten people, yeah forgotten by the media mate. Amazing right? Well apparently no, because somehow some people, glue sniffers or crayon eaters have interpreted this and brace yourself as anti-semitic. It seems that even mentioning the word Palestine has become anti-semitic. Scrap that, some glue sniffers would think even watching this video makes you an anti-semite. Yeah <laughs> you. A reason why I say this is because after Gigi Hadid's Instagram post, Vogue magazine reposted it. But after a few angry glue sniffing crayon eating extremists complained, Vogue edited their post to take out the word Palestine. It's not halal fam. What's Vogue magazine telling us? Well apparently that they agree with these extremists. Also actress Tracy Ann Oberman, don't worry I didn't know she was either, I had to google her, said that to compare Ukraine and Palestine was a false equivalence and then she put screenshots of people saying that it was anti-semitic so she clearly agrees with them. You know what, I think this old woman is right and all the people that say it's wrong to compare Ukraine and Palestine are also right. Because Palestine is worse. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, <wow. laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Because it's the Palestinians that have been bullied for 50 years plus non-stop. And more specifically Gaza is under a blockade which means no money, no aid, no food gets through. At least in Ukraine we're able to give some sort of aid. In Gaza there's no chance of that mate. It's an open air prison. And what's worse is the US is constantly funding, arming and defending Israel as well as the rest of Europe. And as you saw there is censoring of sympathy towards the Palestinians. But here in the west you can see <laughs> the censoring is of Russia, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. And the British media is fully behind Ukraine. In fact you've got people saying oh Russian soldiers I mean they're... The brutal reality is if you put on a uniform for Putin and you go and fight his war you probably deserve to die don't you? Well what can be said guys? Respect to the people that are putting their neck out to stand up for the oppressed because let's face it this religion will triumph with or without our help and we pray that Allah utilizes us in this mission. And remember guys, we'll be questioned about what we did, no matter how small it is, whether it's boycotting, whether it's putting out a post, whether it's speaking out, however you're defending the oppressed, that's what you'll be asked. Not about the results, the results are in the hands of Allah. And who knows when Allah has written victory for us. Whenever it is, at least we can be a part of it. May Allah make it so. Let's leave it there guys, Jazakallah khair to all you amazing Patreon supporters. Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.